Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. Talk to heroine Greetings. Carrot. For your coin, I can help you improve your stealth and hide your presence. Okay, uh, well, let's do that. Steps it's not very expensive. Uh, rigorous training has yielded a permanent increase to your stealth skill. Greetings. For your coin, I can help you listen improve to your that. stealth and hide your presence. Okay, so I get only upgrade it once. Let's talk to her. Uh, travelers. Once the stuff of legends and ballads, when walls and nations crumble, they'll still be singing of us. Okay, stealth training. The art of teaching stealth is no easy task. More than any other learning, it requires patience. For if you fail to learn, the effects can be disastrous. Uh, star camp. The woods are quiet here. We're far enough away from prying eyes, at least. I. Krilgarin, knave of coins. I learned all my skills from Krilgarin. The Fey are usually not forthcoming with their knowledge, but she seeks to help all. Let your steps all right. fall silently. Just a default traveler. All right, let's start from the entrance and work our way in. Hi, good day. Oh, I was looking at the, I was looking at the map wrong. We have to go around this way. Trader hiding. Always open for business don't. when the road is your marketplace. Are you looking to buy items or sell them? A little bit of both. Let's shop. Do you have? Most importantly, do you have an upgraded or a backpack upgrade? You do not. But I'll take these lock picks. How about that? Uh, Vorm Lodge. The lodge is a bit of an odd place. Run by a pair of brothers deep in the she. By all accounts, they just want to help those passing through the she. Odd. Travelers. The travelers aren't highwaymen, regardless of what you may have heard. We're a family, a people. We stick with each other. Star camp. It's a quiet camp. If you're looking to gamble, Rose Baden enjoys playing dice. And Krilgarin, knave of coins. Krilgarin is a good leader for Star Camp. Most here are new to the travelers, and she guides them from danger. Always looking to make a bit of coin. All right. Well, they won't get mad at me for unlocking it, at least. So we'll start with that, then see about. All right. Really don't need to worry about stealing because I have plenty of money. Another burk off the road, eh? A grave in hand. Yeah. What's a wanderer like you want, cutting tongues with me? Ain't no merchant, Burke. Travelers. We're the ones that survive everything. Stragglers and beggars. Be it war, unrest, or famine. It pays to live on your feet. Star camp. Life under the stars, warm nights. A man could do worse. And we're close to civilization, if we need be. And then Krilgarin, knave of coins. She may not understand everything about us, but she watches over everyone in camp. Star Camp is lucky to have her. Pleasant travels, Burke. At least I don't have a lot to say. That was the merchant we talked to. Who are you? Just a traveler? Okay. We'll go up this way. Adventure part four, or five. And my brave companions, we've witnessed the horrors of this place. Our fallen friends know it too well. This is why we came, to face these monsters and deal with them as heroes, which is what you are, all of you. Already we have finished more than most have started. We can turn back now and be the greatest mortals the Phalans have ever known. These are true legends we are creating, each and every one of you. I hold it against no woman or man, alpha or human, should she or he wish to turn back now. Spinning Tom? I wish the fortunes and health of all the world unto you. For me, it is a disservice to our dead to turn back now. It is in their name I must continue. I think we missed one of the books for the adventure. Right, Lay in Dark and Rose Badon. Baden? He's the gambler. She's the gambler. You've got a gambler's gleam in your eye. Care to dice for some coin? 
Uh, maybe? Travelers. There aren't many who know how the travelers started. Wouldn't be surprised if that knowledge was completely lost. Star camp. Not much to disrupt the tranquility of the woods out here, though I hear a graven hand is looking for able bodies. Well, you didn't want to talk to me about it. I'm Krogarin. Never met a fae quite like her. She doesn't have a head for gold or knows any value, but she can steal the fangs off a bar guest. And what are the games? Well, now I like to keep things simple. Only two dice here. We could play high roll. Whoever rolls highest wins. Of course, there's also range roll. You pick some numbers to roll within. Higher risk, but bigger reward. Let me see those dice. Hmm? You mean these dice? Oh, silly Rose. I grabbed the wrong pair by mistake. The balance on these is a little off. An honest mistake. Glad you noticed. Uh, these dice are much fairer. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's play high roll. Aye. Then let's toss the dice and see what comes. Care to play again? Let me know. Play a one. Well, that's how the dice fall. Sorry I have to bear the loss, but it's the nature of the game. I barely won. Care to play again? Let two dice. Know. They rolled a two and I rolled a three. A lay in dark. Need an answer or a rumor? You've done well to come to a lay in dark. I hold on to whispers and secrets in case they're needed. Now come, fellow traveler. Ain't much like a bit of gossip to soothe the tongue, isn't it? Uh, training. What would they teach me? I assume, uh, persuasion. Uh, travelers. We go from place to place, such as it pleases us. Do some trade and tinkering, too, if there's call for it. We're much loved by the common folk, so it's said. But love and trust are two different things. Can't stay in one place long. Odd one, that Krilgarin. Then again, never met a sensible fay. See, the thing is, she knows the paths and secrets of these woods like, well, a fay. And I'm glad she's running things here for that. It is a quiet little bend of wood. Isn't much in the way of cities out here in Dalantarth, so we make do with what hamlets we come across. The Hierophant. The Hierophant's eyes see the for all the travelers, and the Hierophant's words speak for all the travelers. There's other rumors of late, though, that the Hierophant's eyes can't see so well, and the words aren't true any longer. Keep to the shadows. Okay, I see the chest over here. I don't need any of that. I got the experience I was after. All that matters to me. What do we got back here? Traveler, Traveler. Alright, let's look at the names real fast. Talk to them, talk to them. Talk to them. Alright, looks like it's just Krogara now. Well, I was expecting this to take a little longer. I guess we'll have to find something else to do to fill in the rest of the video. Because we just have Kroger to talk to. I guess we can start that quest. Walker Rain. Oh, okay, it just takes us. Okay, it's just another entrance. Can I discover the other entrance? Let me step out real quick and see if it gives me a fast travel position. I'm sure it'll just be me fast traveling back inside the star camp. Well, what do we have there? Quillsbane Ruins. Okay. Can't get to it from this side, it is up above. 
on a ridge. So we'll deal with that when the time comes. All right, we'll talk to Kogarin. The dust of the road rises to meet you, Wanderer. Welcome to Star Camp. Well, thank you. Travelers. We are many things, but what the travelers are to most are thieves. We follow our own way. The Hierophant. You are young among our number. I would not color your perceptions of the Hierophant with my own. Star Camp. This place has been walked by many, and this copse was hollowed round once. We maintain it. Grim Onwig. When others feared to even speak to Faye, Grim came and introduced me to the travelers. Ever since, a more stalwart ally I cannot think of. A Kogarin knave of coins. I am Kogarin. I am unfamiliar with the title the knave of coins. But as I understand, it grants me responsibility for this camp and its travelers. I know the lands and shadows and winding paths the travelers use. I heed no law or creed of property. For that, I am given leadership. Grim Onwig sent me. Then Grim has appraised you and found you of worth. But there is another you must appease. Our guide. The anonymous Hierophant. Go to the Hierophant shrine in our camp and pray, as all travelers must. We have many freedoms and one chain. A traveler lives by his or her hands and guile. You must do the same. Trader Hayden sells items to supplement these skills if you need. I have to pray to the Hierophant? Travelers have clever hands, but they are useless without the Hierophant, whose eyes guide us, a gift upon which we've come to rely. To receive the Hierophant's visions, we are commanded to pray at their shrines, and there are many who readily comply. May the wind be at your back. Right, can I jump off the side? Alright, well if that's my quest, then that's what we will uh, we'll do. I even see that. All right, let's run by the merchant and empty out our inventory real fast. Then we will pray to the Hierophant and see what comes of that. Always open for business. This when the road is your. If you need another train, then come. The shadows proceed. What prays before me? An eddy in the river of fate. Cacophony in the Song of Armalor. Your presence is unnerving. Well, that's not very nice. You come and prayed and honored our creeds. You wish to make yourself a traveler? Then ask me for my portents. Why don't you just tell me? Uh, why are you anonymous? For true trust, for true compliance, the Hierophant must have no weakness, nor fault, nor lapse. In other words, the Hierophant must be no one. Uh, tell me what I must do. The price to admit you is great. It will take three treasures to balance the burden. First, there is a noble Elfwig Grilrakas staying in Dyden Hill. Steal his medallion. Then, in the nearby mission, claim the pall of the dead St. Edrix. The last are Drog's toothpicks. We have contacted their owner, Gunnar Frode, to buy the items. But you will steal them instead. Uh, tell me about the medallion. It is the rather valuable bauble of an old noble family. Rather mundane, but worth much coin to us. Tell me about Draug's toothpicks. The daggers used by the fabled Joden Warmaster Draug, though they were not his weapons, as the name suggests. Uh, tell me about St. Edric's Paul. It is the burial shroud of St. Edric. There are many collectors of relics who hunger for these artifacts and pay dearly for them. All right, so the rumor was that the Hierophant was being a little sketchy lately. I feel like this isn't the actual Hierophant. It sound, doesn't sound very, I don't know, professional. It's all about the money, and I don't think that's what the Travelers are supposed to stand for. But I'm sure we'll figure that out as we continue down the quest line. I will do as you ask. Yes, some final warnings. Elfwig Grillrakas is a fastidious man. 
He will not suffer an approach he can see. The pall of Edric lies in his tomb, which is under many eyes. Wait until none are near before you claim it. And last, Gunnerfrode is... shifty. He will not have the daggers on him or near him. Be warned. Right, we'll see if we can handle that with our current skill set when the time comes. Knock out one of those in Glendara when we get there. That's a little ways off. We have to go talk to, uh, is it Father Altair or Brother Altair, the alchemist? For the House of Ballads questline. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do next. I thought that... No, he's all the way up there. Well, I think I want to go to Glendara first. Let's head to Glendara. And start exploring, I guess. We have we have time, so. Um, let's take this passage down here to connect to where's that? Is it still the same area? No. bag laying on the ground. Okay. And what quest is here? A uh, brother tills books. Well, let's backtrack, grab this lore stone. What is the um bonus for Glendara? Plus four percent health. Well, that's gonna be a good one. As the tree roots into the earth the tendrils of thoughts twist to the soul. As the fire renews the field, the birthing labors produce the foal. As the mantis climbs to his mate, the heart outstretched to her fair hand. As the hunter kills its prey, beside this hill he crafts from sand. All right, let's read what the shield said. I won the tournament from... Sorry, one on the tournament grounds from House of Sorrows, champion Neonarda. Neonarda blamed his defeat on the treachery of this shield. Okay. See, grave of Nora Dwer, or Dwer. Beneath lie the remains of Nora Dwer, taken too soon by the dreaded plague. And Mitharu grant her rest in peace, and keep it with the authority's order, 1489. Grave of Haltrin Cult. Beneath lie the remains of Haltrin Cult, beloved father and village elder. May Mitharu grant him rest in peace and keep it with the authority's order, 1426. The grave of Trina Algest. Beneath lie the remains of Trina Algest, Algest slain by feral, by feral stranger. And then same other stuff, except for 1488. Different date. I'm going to avoid going to Diden Hill for now. Because I'm sure there's going to be a fair few NPCs to speak to. We'll save that for the next episode, I think. I'll try and map out the rest of Glendara if we can. Well, maybe not all of it. But we can get started at least. And where does this take us? Murderer's Hold. That's an exciting name. Fate Weaver. Mm. All right, where to start? about the age and lifespan.
to Luminitsa. Luminitsa? I'm so glad my advice about the sap was of use. You flatter me, though. The idea for the poultice was yours to begin with. I hope you have not waited to share it with Astrid. You may be right that I bring order, but I hope I do not lie in my reassurance. Death itself is part of Mitharu's order, and fate is his plan yet unrealized. Blessings of Mitharu, Brother Fallon. Tills Collection 5. So last time, the other one was a little uh, sultry. Let's see how this one reads. Chapter 4. The girl faithfully obeyed her mistress's instructions, and her Alphar master was so delighted that he hastened at once to impart this good news to his friend, who begged that, since he had been a concern in the bargain, he should also partake of the pleasure. This being agreed to, and the hour being come, the Alphar master went to bed, as he supposed, uh, with the servant. The mistress had taken her place and received him, not as a wife, but as a bashful and frightened Almain maid. She played her part so well that he never suspected anything. I cannot tell you which of the two felt the greater satisfaction. He in the belief that he was cheating his wife, or she in the belief that she was cheating her husband. Okay. Still pretty adulterated. And let us talk to... Please. Welcome. I am Luminitsa. Is it for fate weaving that you have come to my lonely side of the lake? Aluminitsa. Unlike most, I started when I was a mere slip of a girl. You see, my mother told fates, and I learned sitting on her knee. Fate weaving. It's not witchcraft like the townsfolk believe. It's simply reading the threads of fate, and some people can't come to terms with it. Dinil. Sadly, I have not been welcome across the lake for a long time. When I first arrived here, I gave fortunes to several villagers. The fates were... not happy ones. Of course, until I drew their cards, I had no idea. They blamed me and cut off ties. And Agarth. Yes, the old Kurs and Dyden Hill. Came by for a drink last night. Caught up in old times. So long. All right, we've made a little bit of progress. Let's see, that takes me down, so I have to get up there somehow. I assume this is the prison. Maslow Tarek. Just what do you think you're doing poking around this jail? Maslow Tarek. I'm the jailer. What do I look like? Lemonita. The damned fate weaver. She lives right over there, on this cursed side of the lake. Jail. Trust me, we've got enough troubles with the blood plague and all that. We don't go tossing people in there unless we've got to. A dinil. It's always one thing or another. Bargards, bandits, weather. But we're not frail people. We get through it. Blood plague. The bargards caused it, sure. But what caused the bargards? That witch, Luminitsa. That's what I think. Seems pretty ignorant. Let's we'll see if there's anything in here worth looting. Doesn't look like it so far. No one worth talking to in here. This is more if you are uh, a troublemaker yourself and get arrested. I'm pretty sure you can talk your way out of it as well. Or bribe the guards. Dara, I 
will never be your lover. Yet I will make a likeness of your loveliness, your sun-kissed face, your moonlit eyes. I found a crest of sand from which I will give my love true form. So all the chests are missing their lids. It's an interesting problem to have. The dirge's bedroll. The dirge's dancing or dirge's dancing shoes. The uh, Duck Alfar Bard, Dirge Gwyngood, lost her reputation, her life, and these boots trying to winkle the honor of Leosofar Justicar. Of a Leosofar Justicar. Okay. Is that a hidden door, maybe? Merle's Path. Well, we ended up in a dungeon. <laughs> See if we can make our way out of here. The thing in here is junk anyway. I'm looking forward to, uh... very short passage. Where's this going to take me? Alright, cool. Back to Glendara. Well, perfect. Where there's a small bandit camp literally right beside the prison, but uh, alright. These bears already back? Well, it's free experience. <laughs> Maybe not free. There's a little. cost me a little bit of durability on my weapons. So, potentially some gold down the line. Come on, ah. At the very least, some experience. Can't go wrong with that. Combat in this area is an absolute joke. I'm gonna avoid going into town for right now until we, uh, to the beginning of the next episode. we get some sort of experience off of it. The water shaped with ease, the sand bent just as well. The plants gave way, the beasts have fled. Even stone must give way to my love, for Dara is grander than this lake I craft, this lock beside this hill. For her, a century's task seems effortless.
Plus there's a surprising amount of enemies. I could see that have gone going really badly if I wasn't overleveled here. Alright, so there's a way to get to all that stuff up there. Let's see about making our way up there, grabbing that loot. That might be it for this episode. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sucker for health regen. It's so Brother Fallon Part 2. I would never deny you the right to truth, but the fact remains. I'm not trusted as you are, even though who we are and what we do is not so very different. Speaking of our work, there's troubling news from town. Boggarts are out in numbers, which of course means blood plague. If Astra does not send you for you in several days, you might make the trip yourself. The town will need the medicine. Every day there are more of them, right at our doors. Yours, Luminitsa. Okay. Plague Shield. This parcel contains medicine that can be used by a skilled healer. I am finding quest items. Oh, and a lore stone. Didn't even see that on the map. I'm glad uh, I spotted so it. So hard I worked to make this jewel for Dara's crown, but I did not notice when winter took her from the summer wood. Never to be Dara anymore. The work of love has made my love futile, and so I leave it to the wild. I commit myself to Ashara. I cannot love again. The grounded boots. The Warsworn prize such boots for the protection they provide against sorcerer's foes. So I'm a I'm a doofus. I didn't have to go all the way around to jump back down to get the loot that was over here. I just had to swim around the corner. I was looking at the map incorrectly. <laughs> I'm glad that I did, because I... Well, no, that was over there. Yeah, there's literally no reason for me to go up there. So I think I'm missing one more... Lore Stone. Which we'll most likely find... Well... Probably, probably in the next episode. What's above us? Oh. Well, Glendar is a pretty big place, it seems. So a fair ways to go. And this takes us to Lorca Rain, because that's where we came out right here. Alright, well in the next episode we'll explore um Dyden Hill. Or Dyden Hill. The more silent H. And um Speak to the NPCs there. I'm gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.